In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually calculate the standard deviation. I'll basically show you how to understand this equation, which may look scary, but it's actually really easy to understand once you break it down. If you find this tutorial useful, then I will greatly appreciate it if you let me know by leaving a like on this video. Additionally, if something still doesn't make sense after watching this, then drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to help out. So let's get started. To calculate the standard deviation, or SD, we first need a group of data. For this example, let's say I've measured the weight of 10 female bulldogs of a similar age. Here are their weights in kilograms. This group is known as a sample. And by the way, if you're not sure on the difference between a sample and a population, then check out this video. The first thing we need to do to calculate the standard deviation of a sample is to work out the average value. To do this, you simply add up all the values in your data set and divide that answer by the number of values in the sample. In my example, adding the values up comes to 226.8. Then since I have 10 individual dogs in my sample, I will divide this by 10 to give me an average weight of 22.7 kilograms. Now we have the average weight, the next step is to work out how far away these individual values are from the average value. So let's take the first dog, which weighed 20.4 kilograms. To work out the difference, we do 20.4 subtract 22.7, and this gives a value of negative 2.3. For the next dog, the calculation will be 25.2 subtract 22.7 which comes to 2.5. And this process is then repeated for all the values in the sample. Once we have these values, the next step is to square each of these values. So for the first dog, this would be negative 2.3 squared. The answer is 5.29. The next dog will be 2.5 squared, which comes to 6.25. And again, the process is repeated for all values. The next step is rather simple. We need to add up all of these squared values we just calculated. Doing so for my example will give a value of 30.66. The next step for calculating the standard deviation of a sample is to divide this value by what is known as n subtract 1. n in this case is the number of values you have in the sample. In other words, the number of dogs for my example. Again, this is 10. So 10 subtract 1 is 9. This means I need to do 30.66 divided by 9. And if I do this, it gives me a value of 3.4. This value right here is actually known as the variance. And if you want to learn more about variance, then I suggest that you check out this video. Now to go from the variance to the standard deviation, you simply take the square root of the variance value. So for my example, this will be the square root of 3.4. And doing so gives a standard deviation of 1.8. And since the standard deviation is expressed in the same units as the original measurements, I can say this is in fact 1.8 kilograms. So for my sample, the average weight of the female bulldogs was 22.7, with a standard deviation of 1.8 kilograms. Usually this is written as the mean value plus or minus the standard deviation. If you're wondering what the complete equation is to calculate the standard deviation of a sample that we just did, it looks like this. Simply, you take each value in your sample and subtract the mean from it. Then you square these values and add them all up. You then divide this number by the number of values in your data set, subtract 1, and finally you square root this answer. Just before I finish, I thought I'd highlight a minor difference when you want to calculate the standard deviation of a population. If you're doing this, then the only difference is the denominator in the equation. Instead of dividing by n subtract 1, as is the case for the sample calculation, you simply just divide by n. The n subtract 1 part in the sample calculation is what is known as Bessel's correction. And it is simply used to correct for bias during the calculation, since the sample is just a randomly selected number of subjects from the overall population. This is something to keep in mind, however most of the time you are probably only interested in calculating the standard deviation for a sample. 
And there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the standard deviation of a sample and a population by hand. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.